welcome everyone today's lecture is on introduction to poison what is toxicology the term toxicology is derived from a greek word toxikon which when translated read poison into which arrow heads are dipped types of toxicology the different types of toxicology are total seven types the first one is analytical toxicology this includes the detection and evaluation of toxic chemicals second is applied toxicology concerned with the application of modern technology in the early detection of toxicants third is clinical toxicology the study of diagnosis and treatment of poison mainly in humans fourth is veterinary toxicology the study of diagnosis and treatment of poison mainly in animals and the potential of transference to humans fifth is forensic toxicology deals with the medical investigation of the dead poisoning and drug use Six is environment toxicology, the study of the presence of toxicants in the environment and their effect on humans and animals. Seventh is industrial toxicology, so this is the selective area of environment toxicology. So let's move to our main topic, that is introduction to poisoning. So let's see the definition of poison. What is poison? It is an any substance that is harmful to the body. One of the famous Swiss physician and chemists, that is Paracelsus. He has expressed the principle of toxicology in a quote. So, what is that quote? All things are poison, and nothing is without poison. Only the dose makes a thing not a poison. So, the meaning of this quote is that the dose makes the poison. What do you mean by this one? Is that a substance that contains toxic properties can cause us harm only if it occurs in a high enough concentration? Okay. So the effect of poisonings may ranges from short-term illness to brain damage, coma, and in some cases death. The causes of poisonings are many. It can be civilian, industrial, accidental, and deliberate. The commonest poisoning agent in India are pesticides. For example, organophosphate, carbamate, chlorinated hydrocarbon, etc. Sedative drugs, chemicals like corrosive acid, copper sulfate, alcohol, plant toxins. Like the tura, stickness, oleander, and GIT irritants such as gas, oil, croton, etc. And last is household poison, so which is going to include mostly the cleaning agent. So among children, the common culprits are kerosene, household chemicals, drug, pesticides, and garden plants. Historical overview. So when we see the history of the poison and poisoning, it dates back several thousand years. So in the olden days, or early poisons were exclusively made up of plant and animal toxins, and sometimes minerals. And these toxins are basically used for hunting. Ordeal poison is the poison which is used in the olden days, and it was administered to the person who was accused of witchcraft and other crimes. Example is Pfizer stigma from Pfizer stigma venenosum, also known as calabar beans, and amygdalin from peach pits. Next is arrow and dart poison. So this poison is very popular for hunting animals. Example of the arrow poisons are strepanthin, equinetin, extract from haliborus, which is a cardiotoxic plant, and snake venom. Historical landmark: Greek physician Dioscorides. So he is the person who classified the poison. So he categorized the poison into three groups: animal group, vegetable group, and mineral group. Next is that the experimental toxicology began with another big physician, Nicander. So he experimented with animal poison using condemned criminal as subject. Next is Theophrastus. Okay, so he's the person who published a book on plant poison, and the title of that book was De Historia Plantarum, and also the Asian Indian test book Rig Veda. Describes several plant poison, and Greeks use plant poison as poison of execution. So one such example is Socrates. So he was the person who was executed by the administration of plant poison, known as hemlock. Next is Bonaventure or Philia. So he was regarded as the father of modern toxicology. His treatise title Trite des Poison, published in eighteen fourteen. So laid the foundation of forensic toxicology. So through this, he advocated the practice of autopsy followed by chemical analysis of viscera in order to prove that poisoning had taken place. 
in 1829 one of his student robert christosan okay he published a treatise titled a treatise on poison in english version the first published work on clinical toxicology was by o coster and the title of that book was a practical treatise on poison and it was published in the year 1848 Next is mortality from poisoning. That is death rate from poisoning. So these rates vary from country to country depending on the kinds of poison encountered, the extent of awareness about poisoning, the availability of treatment facilities, and the presence and absence of qualified personnel. Children under fifteen years of age account for most cases of accidental poisoning, but they are associated with low mortality. whereas individual over 15 years of age mostly suicidal exposure are seen and they are associated with high mortality in most of the poisoning cases the doctor is unaware of the exact nature of the poison consumed and in some cases where the exact identity and a dose of a single ingested poison is known but the doctor may not have a clear idea about its toxicity so in order to ameliorate the situation to some extent and help the physician have some idea about the hazardous nature of various poison a system of toxicity rating has been evolved from common poison so higher the toxicity rating the greater is the potency so in tabular column you can see that higher the toxicity rating greater is the potency so here higher toxicity rating is 6 6 is super toxic Five is extremely toxic. Fourth, very toxic. Fourth, moderately toxic. Second one is slightly toxic, and one is practically non-toxic. And you can see the usual fatal dose also. Okay, so remember that higher the toxicity rating, greater is the potency. So to assess the assess and rate the toxicity of a drug, UFD, that is usual fatal dose, is taken into consideration. which is again derived from the animal experimental data and statistics of human poisoning so this usual fatal dose is based on mld that is minimum lethal dose so which is an indicative of the lethal dose that is fatal to 50% of animal so you can see this uh, in this table column the usual fatal dose of common toxic agent for example you can see aspirin 15 to 20 g usual fatal toxic dose acids like mineral 10 to 15 ml aconite that is root 1 g cyanide 200 to 300 mg methanol 62 to 50 ml and so on next we will see the poisoning severity score the european association of clinical poison centers and clinical toxicologists has proposed a guide for scoring the poisoning severity so they have scored the poisoning severity into four grades so zero is nil minimum signs of or symptoms one that is minor mild transient and spontaneous resolving symptoms two moderate pronounced or prolonged symptoms third severe severe or life threatening symptoms so you can see here four grades are given zero is none one is minor second one is moderate and third one is severe next is diagnosis of poisoning a poisoning case can present to a doctor or hospital in any one of a number of ways so in this way a poisoning case can be presented to a doctor or hospital so four are there first one is fulminant that is produced by a massive dose that occur very rapidly sometime without preceding symptoms the patient appearing to collapse suddenly second is acute so this is going to be produced by a single dose of several small doses taken in a short period onset of symptom is abrupt third is chronic so this is going to be produced by small doses taken over a long period onset is insidious for the subacute characterized by a mixture of feature of acute and chronic poisoning so in most cases the poison patient present with one or more of the following non specific features so these are the non specific features total six first is impairment of consciousness second is respiratory or cardiovascular depression third dehydration due to vomiting diarrhea Fourth, hypothermia. Fifth, convulsion. Sixth, cardiac arrhythmia. So next, we will see some clues. Okay, valuable clues afforded on detailed clinical examination, which can help narrow down the differential diagnosis. So there are four clues 
ocular cuculus means several drugs or poisons they may affect the pupil of the eye and here they can produce either meiosis mediasis and in some cases it may produces nystagmus meiosis is we know very well that is the pupil constriction so here there will be an increased light intensity focus on near object result from increased cholinergic stimulation or inhibition of sympathetic dilation Mediasis that is pupil dilation. So this is basically occur due to an increased sympathetic stimulation. What is nystagmus means? This is the rapid involuntary movement of the eye. So along with this, the other optho ophthalmological manifestation include diplopia that is double vision, blurred vision, optic neuritis, corneal deposit, etc. Second is olfactory clues. So here some poisons have distinctive order. Which may be preserved in the vicinity of a poisoned patient. So, especially you can feel that odor in the breath of the person. So, examples of this diagnostic odor is that acetone, apple-like. So, this you can smell it from chloroform ethanol, bitter almond from cyanide, vinegar, acetic acid, wintergreen, methyl salicylate. Third one is dermal clues. So, some poison have character. Characteristic dermal manifestation. So this you can see in acute toxicity. While in certain cases you can see in. Uh, so it is going to demonstrate skin signs on chronic exposure. Also in acute you can see that uh, the thura or atropine the skin is going to become very dry and hot skin. So this is acute within a short period of time. Whereas for a chronic use, slowly, slowly, if you are going to take this drug, for example, heroin, barbiturate, morphine, fencyclidine, so here needle marks will appear on the body. Arsenic, you can see here, example is raindrop, pigmentation, hyperkeratosis, and dermatitis. Okay, so got it now? So next one is oral clues. So careful examination of the mouth can afford valuable information about the etiology of the poisoning in some cases. So here you can see examples of the drug induced oral manifestation. So these are the drugs which is going to cause this kind of disease that is glossitis caused by trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole, daclofenac, stomatitis, cytotoxic drugs, penicillamine, gold salt, gingival hyperplasia by phenytoin, sodium valparate, pigmentation, cisplastin, oral contraceptives. Okay. So this completes today's class. Thank you.